throw that out there 0191 232 6565 you can text 81 333 start your text BBC love Norma's call there you can call as well and uh, also tweet at BBC Newcastle. Yeah, I think we can chat to uh, Nikki Dravers now, who is director of uh, Rif, Rif... I can never say this correctly. Refuse, Refuse. Uh, good morning, Nikki, Durham's first pop-up cafe. Nikki, you're going to put me right. Tell me how to pronounce that. Well, it's supposed to be a play on, on the word refuse and refuse and reuse, so That's you can say it however you want. <laughs> it's a good idea. However you look at it, Nikki, it's a good idea. <laughs> so tell us exactly what you do then. Um, we collect uh, food that would otherwise be wasted from supermarkets and wholesalers and um, and food suppliers across the northeast. And we put on pop up restaurant events. Um, we cater for various events, and we um, run a community cafe. Uh, we, we're starting a community cafe in Chester Street, um, and we do a kind of a, we're starting a, an education project as well in primary schools around food waste and just campaigning to to kind of. Um, put the value back on food that, that for some reason some people have deemed worthless for crazy reasons because it's all really um really good food that um is good enough to serve at a wedding. Um, that was the last time we were on your on your show we were talking about when we catered a wedding. Yeah, I remember that. We had a chat and the bride and groom didn't know what they were getting because they didn't know what waste yeah, was going to be left. Yeah. But but it turned out brilliantly, didn't it? It did, yeah, yeah, it was amazing. And uh yeah, just to know that we could um, that enough food was going to be thrown away that we could, could uh, serve a kind of three-course meal with canapes and drinks um, to, uh, to 180 people at a wedding was uh, an amazing feat, really. And, 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 and mad to think that that's much is being wasted. What are we not thinking about when we go shopping, do you think, Nikki? Regular um, mistakes. Regular mistakes. Oh, I just think... I just think generally, um, we kind of live in a bit of a... Particularly my generation, like younger generations have a have a kind of culture of, of um, we can get whatever we want, where, wherever we want, whenever we want. Um, and, and around food, that means that, you know, completely unseasonal food comes from um, miles across the globe. Mm. And, um, and if we don't want it at that point, it gets thrown away. Um, and I think that's just a kind of culture that, that means that um, we waste loads, and, and whether that's food or whether that's packaging, um, or plastics particularly, there's so much stuff that I, I see in the shops that I just think, we don't need, why no do we, need. We, don't, we don't need these things, but we just have this kind of buy more, more, more stuff culture um, that means that so much stuff gets thrown away and so much stuff gets made um, using really costly resources and energy and water um, that's just not needed. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's the kind of culture that we've got and that we need to kind of combat. And a life without too much stuff can actually be quite pleasant. There is a, there is yeah, a book. There's a book that's been written about it, and I'll I'll find the name of the book before the end of the show. But there is a book about living with less stuff. Um, yeah, and, I think it's a lot more freeing. Yeah. Um, I, I I definitely have more to learn on it. But um, but yeah, having less stuff is it's just a simpler life. It's a more kind of I don't know. A better life, I think. Have better. What do you yeah. do? What do you do that impresses your mates and makes them think again? Um, I think, to be honest, my 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 thing is food, and I think my mates just come round to my house, uh, and whenever they come round, there's a, another kind of massive pile of um, whatever it is, whether it's grapefruits or uh, tin tomatoes or baked beans or um, I don't know yogurts. Last week we had a whole van full of yogurts, and I I just got all my friends to come and, and collect them because we couldn't couldn't get rid of them fast enough. Um, so. Food is, is the is the main thing, but I think um, I think generally all of that stuff does does help us to to think about you know what what we're buying and 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 kind of putting the value uh, on what we buy beyond what just its cost or its how nice it is, but actually um, what resources has gone into making it and like the time and the energy and the water that has made it. Um, and then, and then, if you're if you're thinking along that line, then then you start to think about kind of how it's how it's going to be disposed of at the end of it as well. So, um, I love kind of this whole report that that's coming out about recycling has come from the circular economy, and I love the idea of of the circular economy, which which is kind of saying that that nature is um, is done in circles. So, like you get the water, you learn about the water cycle at school and the carbon cycle, and and that you know new life, plant life grows out of dead trees like nothing in, in nature is wasted um but 
but yet we live, we kind of do things much more in, in line. So we, we kind of make stuff out of the ground, we take stuff out of the ground, we make stuff with it, we use it, and then we throw it away and it, and it stays in the ground forever more, never used. Um, so I love the kind of idea of the social economy that's trying to say, how can we design stuff and use stuff um, with the idea that, that it will be reused and repurposed at the end of its life? Mm. Nikki, thank you so much for coming on the show. Really interesting, the circular economy. Uh, that's a phrase I don't think I've heard before. Uh, there's Nikki Dravers, who's the director of Refuse. And we can speak very quickly before we go to the news to June, I think. Good morning, June.